What's up guys? How you doing? Happy Saturday. I'm doing pretty good. I'm getting better. I was sick for a little bit and I'm getting a lot better, you know, chugging on that medicine and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm feeling a lot better and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make a YouTube video. And so today I actually have a story for you guys of one of my many, 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 many troubles at school. And when I don't mean troubles as in like drama, I mean troubles as in like I got in a lot of trouble at school. So I'm going to tell you guys one of my stories that does not end with the cops. So, so let me set the stage for you. I'm in science class. Science class is pretty funny if you guys don't know science classes. They're usually pretty cool. Um, and this science class is where I made a lot of my friends freshman year. Keep in mind this story is last year. I'm a sophomore now. This story is when I was a freshman. So there's this guy in my class. Let's call him Smeagol. Um, he's a little nerdy kid and he kind of talks like this when he's got like the glasses and he's <laughs> Let's call him Smeagol. So, no one really likes Smeagol in this class, alright? Like, no one really liked me and then Smeagol came to the class and was like, Kane, you're way better than Smeagol! And I was like, I know. So, we've got Smeagol and Smeagol's been in this class for like, eh, six, nine, three months. He's been in the class for about three months. And so he's kind of in my friend group, not really. I hang out with a couple of different, I hang out with a couple of kids, and he kind of weasels his way into the group, hence the name Smeagol. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Navy SEAL copy pasta. If you're not, I will put it right here. It is the big, what did you just say about me, you little bitch? I'll have you know I graduated top of the class, top of my class of the Navy SEALs, that big long thing. And I figured everyone knew what that was. I was wrong. One day in class, I get Smeagol's number. Not from Smeagol, from one of my friends. Let's call him uh, Dominic. So Dominic gives me Smeagol's number, and I'm sitting there on my phone. You know what would be funny? If I sent him the Navy SEAL copy pasta so he knows it's me, right? Because I say it all the time, or at least I did back then. So I figure he'll know it's me. So I go online, copy it, paste it, send, right? He asks, who is this? I don't reply. He asks, is this Kane? But he spells my name wrong, and that kind of shit pisses me off. So I say no. And keep in mind, my science class was fourth hour, okay? I have lunch fifth hour, and then whatever the hell the rest of my day looked like. I can't even remember. During my seventh hour, I get pulled up to the office. Surprise, surprise. So I sit down, like, what you guys want this time? And um, there's a cop standing in the room, and I'm like, hello, sir. And he is like, sit down, boy. And I was like, okay. So I sit down, and then the, all three of the vice principals are also in the room. And I'm like, okay, this is a little bit more serious than what I normally get called up here for. I wonder what's going on. And I was like, let me guess, Smeagol. And, um, and they were like, yes, Smeagol. Uh, what do you know about that situation? You know how they try to like get information out of you? And I'm like, ha ha ha, you're not getting it out of me. <laughs> and then they said that they had already called down a couple of my friends, Dominic and Ben and uh, they had confirmed that it was me who had sent some message. And I was like, I, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I didn't know they were talking about the Navy SEAL copy pasta. I was like, what, what's going on here? I don't really understand. And, um, and they're like, well, we have a student, uh, Smeagol, that has been uh, coming up here and saying he's gotten death threats against his life. And I was like, whoa, Smeagol. Smeagol, someone's gonna kill Smeagol? Who's gonna kill Smeagol? Huh? It's gonna kill Smeagol. They, uh, they start to question me. And they're like, so did you, uh, did you threaten to kill anyone today? And I'm like, what? <laughs> did I threaten to kill anyone? How many, how many times are we counting this? Because, you know, people, kids say, I'm gonna kill you all the time. And so I'm like, does that count? Or are they asking for, like, actual threats? And, um, I was like, I really don't know what you guys are talking about this time. And so she grabs Smeagol's phone, opens his phone, and starts to read. What did you just say about me, you little? And I stopped her, I was like, no, 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 no. And she had a laptop in front of her. And I said, type in the words Navy SEAL and copy pasta and hit enter on Google. And she was like, why? And I was like, just do it. She was like, okay. And she types in Navy SEAL copy pasta and hits enter. And thank God it's as popular on the internet because it pulls up, it's like, Voomp. and then she was like, okay, well, I am seeing it right here. And I'm like, yeah, it's because it's because it's, it's an internet joke. And I know Smeagol knows what the hell it is. So, I start getting a little lippy, you know, as I do, and, um, and apparently that's not good, okay? Um, but YOLO, swag, whatever. So, so, all three of the vice principals, uh, so, okay, we have the dean of students, we have the nice vice principal, and we have the mean vice principal. And the nice vice principal is the one I have on the computer, and the dean of students is the only guy besides the cop in the room, and he's standing in the back staring at me like, 
and the mean vice principal is sitting over to the left and is like also staring at me and the cops just like why am i even here um and then the nice vice principal is like doo, 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 doo. and she's like okay i am seeing it right here um and here's the shitty part so i'm sitting there getting interrogated like oh did you kill somebody today or were you going to kill somebody na, 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 na. and um i was like no i didn't i didn't kill nobody and they're like, what's your phone number? And so I told them my phone number. Um, I actually reshot this part because I literally said my phone number and then I realized probably should not put my phone number in a YouTube video. But anyway, so they're like, what's your phone number? I give them my phone number and then they're like, yep, this is the number that, uh, that sent the death threat. What? Death threat? I didn't, I didn't threaten to kill anybody. I mean, well, like I did, but like not like that. I mean, no one you know. And then the vice principal, principal, and dean of students leave. And I'm sitting in a room with a cop. Yay. So the cop is standing there, and he looks at me and he's like, so, you uh, threatened to kill somebody today, I hear. And I'm like, no, I sent him an internet joke. And he's like, you think, you think that's a joke? And I was like, yes, it's a joke. He's like, you think someone's life is a joke? I said, no, I think the thing I sent him is a joke. And uh, that got me in a little more trouble, uh, because apparently I was being a smart ass, which apparently, is not, is not good. So then the cop leaves and I'm sitting in there alone, right? While they're off having their little meeting about what they're gonna do to me. And I'm like, okay, great. So now I'm like, and now, now I know my parents are getting called and all this junk. So now I'm gonna be in trouble at home, this and that. And so they come back in when they've reached their verdict, you know, like a little jury, they're like, we, we find the defendant guilty, you know? Um, and I'm like, okay, so what, what, what am I actually getting in trouble for here? Sending a joke to someone that I know from class? And after me sitting there being a smart ass to these people, because honestly, I really don't care at this point. I'm like, hey, I sent an internet joke. I had you look it up. You know it's a joke. Uh, I really don't see why I'm getting in trouble. The lady looks at me with the straightest face and says, well, I mean, had you just told him who you were, none of this would have happened. Which angered me because he knew who it was. That's why he said, is this Kane? And he spelled my fucking name wrong, so I said no. But he knew who it was, he checked with Ben and Dominic to make sure it was my phone number after all this had happened. He knew it was me, kid just doesn't like me, so he's like, I'm gonna get gay in trouble today. But yeah, it's just, it's ridiculous. Uh, it's totally a joke, and I got in a lot of trouble for sending an internet joke to this kid who should have known the joke and who did know the joke. So it's basically what this entire video was about is me telling you a shitty story about how I got suspended for two fucking weeks for sending an internet joke to some douchebag from my class. Moral of the story, take the copy paste and send it to everyone you know, okay? Everybody you meet and know, send the copy paste to them because it's great. I'll put a link to the copy paste at the top of the description, but yeah. So I uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, drop me a like. If you didn't, drop me a favorite. And as always, thank you for watching. Adios, and I'll see you next Saturday. Um, and here's the, here's the game. You guys ready? Ready? And as always, thanks for watching.